All right, guys, look, so we're going to go over some Fibonacci levels, and I'm going to show you a trade that I took earlier this morning where targets were hit. So I'm going to go through the formalities of it. So I'm on U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar on a um, one-hour chart. And basically what we want to do is we want to go up here to down to the lowest point, and we want to take our retracement tool. All right, we're going to bring it down. Now, remember, the key levels that we want to look at is the 61%, 70, and 78. But more importantly, we want to really look at the 78, all right, based off of uh, this strong particular um, trend. All right, so essentially, this is the area where I want to take the trade back into. Now, I want to take it all the way up to the 78 uh, based off of this, but I also want to show you where I had got in at uh, when I came into the market. Now, I came in the market this morning uh, we were doing some ranging in this area around 7, 6 o'clock, all right? Now, when price gets to this area, a lot of people think that it's going to drop and go short, which it possibly could, correct. However, um, things were just lining up. It was showing that this was a key area where price could come back into, and uh, we had basically at a lower time frame, we had a, like a little flat pattern that was shaping up on the 15, all right? So you see all this consolidation moving, all right? Price came back, retested what? Some area of what? Demand, okay? This little demand area right here. And so I felt comfortable taking a trade at this particular level, all right? I have a support level right here. And what I was looking for is, is I'm looking for engulfing. I got the engulfing right here, all right? And I put my stop loss below this level. You could put it below the... Uh, the candle that was engulfed, or you could put it below this level. Um, I did put it below. Uh, pretty decent um, lot size to take up. And it doesn't seem like much, but from here to here, we had about 36 pips. So that was a pretty good uh, morning for me. I set the trade. I felt confident. Hey, if, if price came back and knocked me out, I mean, we're talking about a few pips, guys. I mean, what? what? five all right so you risk it fifty dollars on a standard lot size basically or fifty four dollars to make three hundred and sixty i take that any day all right so to trade it was a success now watch this we also can uh measure all right i'm gonna go back in time for you guys so you can see we can measure uh, this big impulse uh, right here, which was for the CPI data yesterday. So we're just gonna take this impulse and we're gonna use our FIB extension. So that's why when you guys go through the guide, you know, you're gonna look at that section when we're talking about the FIBs, you're gonna understand where I'm coming from. So this is the target area for the FIB extension point uh, up at this zone up here. And this was another way where we could solidify our targets to get there. Uh, and we basically wanna do this, you know, and this is what we're expecting. So now it's playing. All right, so you see how we reached our targets, and now we're back in real time. So you saw the extension point gives us our targets, all right? So, you know, you can, that's what it's used for. So um, remember, we don't want to use the Fibonacci in a manner that's going to be all about technicality of the math and the equation stuff. We just want to use those tools. Um, so you got the Fib retracement tool and the extension tool. So we use this to help us with targets in the market, okay? All right, so this is just a short video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hit the like button, subscribe. But make sure um, to use those uh, extension tools and retracements, and it'll make your trading a whole lot better. And we'll start going over confluence, and you'll see how those levels can line up at key areas, you know, just like we did. Uh, matter of fact, we could do it right now, and you can see where these key levels are lining up at. And you see how back in market structure area, 
we got these key levels, and that gives us some type of confidence to uh, trade it back, and it gives us confluence as well, too. And some of you will see that the 23% rule held up once you get down to the Fibonacci and the guide. You will see that we talk about the 23%. 23 means what? It gives us a high probability that we're going to go and we're going to hit up between the 61 and 78, and that's exactly what we did. If anybody knew this strategy, they would know to get in as soon as price comes back below the 23%. So that's a 23% trading strategy, right? So I will be doing a little bit more videos on that moving forward because now it's about time for people to start really moving through the guide, and now we can move with speed and efficiency. All right, have a great day.